Hi guys, it's Lachlan Book Travels and welcome back to another video. So today I am reviewing Hawaiian Airlines Economy Class, A330 Economy Class. Going from Honolulu back to Sydney, Australia, back to my hometown. It's been a great stay in um, Honolulu, I've loved it. We did the whole island around Honolulu. Um, definitely going to come back to Hawaii, I suggest it, um, especially for families, it's really um, family um, friendly. Um, but um, I was actually going to fly Jetstar back the way home because um, the way here, Sydney to Honolulu, I flew um, the Jetstar 787 Dreamliner Economy class. But um, apparently the flight got cancelled the way back um, from Honolulu to Sydney. Engineering problems apparently. So anyways, but um, we transferred to a Hawaiian Airlines flight which is better because Hawaiian Airlines is not a low cost airline. Um, but um, there is a little story I want to tell you about Jetstar because it wasn't that great and it was actually horrible. So I'll, um, I'll tell you right now. Okay guys, so if you saw that story, um, it is pretty shocking. But otherwise, I hope you enjoy this review. It's my first time flying Hawaiian Airlines and I've always wanted to fly them. So otherwise, yep. Yeah. All right, let's get started. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Today I'm flying Hawaiian Airlines A330 Economy Class from Honolulu International Airport and to Sydney International Airport, Tony Moore One. Let's get started. If you check in on Hawaiian Airlines, it asks you a few questions, where you're traveling to and if you're carrying on board or checking in. This is what the um, check-in looks like for Hawaiian Airlines at the in Honolulu International Airport. Looks pretty nice and modern to me. And if you see here, Japan flights are in the next level, le next lobby. I've no idea why. If you see here, here's some very interesting facts about Hawaiian Airlines. It's very, very interesting, I find. It's about all, all their old livery, their decorations of the plane, where they fly, and all that type of stuff. It's very good for the aviation geeks, just like me to learn about Hawaiian Airlines. If you see here, I am enjoying my strawberry Starbucks refresher. And also, I've got to say, Honolulu International Airport is a great place to put a plane spot. You see a lot of Hawaiian Airlines and um, Japanese Airlines. So if you see here, this is um, all Nippon Airways ANA Japanese flight that just started on their A380 from Tokyo Narita to Honolulu. And if you see here, um, Honolulu International Airport has some great entertainment on, especially these Hawaiian dancers that are very famed and in the background. If you see here, this is my aircraft for today. An Airbus A330-300, not sure how old it is. Then beside us is a Korean Air A330-300. Okay, okay guys, so if you see my plane behind there, not going to miss you, but we are boarding soon. So, I'll see you on the If you see here, this is my seat row where I'm sitting. Hawaiian Airlines Economy Class on your seat also comes with a pillow and a blanket, just in case if you want to nap. I've got to say, the headrest on the Hawaiian Airlines Economy A330 is pretty good. The leg room for me is very good and for my dad, since he's tall, is very good. The flight attendants hand out these little packets. We'll see what's inside of them in a minute. If you see, this is what they give you inside the packets. Some headphones, earplugs and a sleeping mask before takeoff on Hawaiian Airlines A330 economy class. We are now taking off very shortly. I hope you enjoy the takeoff. I'm very sorry I didn't see it at the window seat if it's not as good as the takeoff as before. I'll see you up in the air.
takeoff, you can use Hawaiian Airlines A330 Entertainment. The touchscreen is okay and it's a little bit responsive on it. It's not as good as the other touchscreens I've seen, but it's better than the Qantas Economy touchscreen, I've got to say. Now let's check out the flight map. Okay, if you see here, this is the Hawaiian Airlines um, flight map. It is the exact same as Jetstar and Qantas flight map, I've got to say. It's pretty decent, but it's okay for me. About 30 minutes after takeoff, the flight attendants hand you drinks, I've got to say. It is pretty good how they do, just like Qantas Economy after takeoff. For me, I got a Sprite, and for my parents, they got two Heineken beers. It come, also comes with a packet of chips slash nuts. If you can see here, you can pull back and forward the entertainment screen. Pretty good to me. Okay, now time for some lunch. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so today we've got some teriyaki chicken with some rice and some vegetables. Looks good, then we've got some mayonnaise or whatever it is there. Next to it is a cookie, then water, then um, some cutlery and pepper, salt and pepper. So, Give this a try. Okay guys, let's give this a try. First, some chicken. I'm very sorry if you didn't see me eating. I'm very embarrassing at eating. I've got to say the teriyaki chicken had some very, had very good flavor to it. It was okay to me, but had really good flavor. Um, now let's try the rice. Um, I've got to say the rice, uh, it was a bit dry, but it's, it was all right. Um, then we'll try some um, veggies, including carrots. So I've got to say the carrots uh, were really soft. Uh, I've got to say they were um, okay. They were okay, of course. I'm um, sorry if you see me. I'm just um, getting um, attention on my show I'm watching, but it was pretty good. I rate the lunch a 7 out of 10. It was pretty good to me. And of course, we forgot to do the, re the reclining. Let's have a look at the economy review. I've got to say on Hawaiian Airlines Economy A330, it is very good. If you're interested on um, Hawaiian Airlines about their history, go um, on their TV through the Explore um, um, file and go to uh, about Hawaiian Airlines and it will show you some really cool history about our, um, their history. So when it was made, their first livery were um, aircrafts they made, where it's from, who the CEO, um, who created Hawaiian Airlines and it's all about that stuff. So I find um, that type of stuff like really interesting. Um, yeah, if you see there, that's your livery of Hawaiian Airlines. So um, yeah, pretty good.
guys, I'm back now. I've been I'm laughing my head off as I've been watching some Full House. I suggest you to watch it. It is very good. And I've got to say, look at that sunset. Amazing, right? And I've got to say, this Hawaiian Airlines A330 cabin lighting is pretty good. Before one hour Thanks. before um, our snack, um, before um, landing, we get some hot towel service. And their hot towels are very good, very hot and steamy. Now um, it's time for a snack before landing. So it comes in this little bag, and if you see, we've got an egg sandwich to eat. It looks pretty good. Let's give this a try. Okay, let's give the egg sandwich a try. I've got to say, it, the egg was in very good condition and I loved um, the egg sandwich. I give it a 10 out of 10. We are very close to Australia now. As you see, we are going over Port okay, Macquarie. Okay, um, so I don't look the best right now, but we are starting to descend into um, Sydney. Before landing into Sydney, let's conclude the Hawaiian Airlines flight. The padding on the economy seats are very good. The Hawaiian Airlines lunch, the chicken was had a very good flavour, rice a bit dry. The selection on Hawaiian Airlines for the entertainment, it was pretty good, I've got to say, but Qantas is a little bit better, I've got to say about that. The egg sandwich before landing into Sydney snack was very, very tasty. Altogether, I would rate Hawaiian Airlines is an 8 out of 10 and I'd love to fly with them again. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this Hawaiian Airlines. Otherwise, guys, I hope I'll see you in my next video, which will be next year. I will see you next year as I'm taking a break of travel to spend more time with my family. Otherwise, we are landing now into Sydney. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next year. Please follow my Instagram and Facebook account at Lock and Book Travels to get some more updates. Mahalo!